Let's take a look at this problem. We've got 5 to the 5x minus 2 equals 1 over 25. Well, um, I can see I could rewrite the 25 as 5 squared, so let's start there. Again, I'm focusing on a larger number, even though it's in a fraction, I'm still focusing on a larger number. And that's close, but we can't have that down denominator. Well, we got a property that says we can take that and move it up on top. So we got 5 to the 5x minus 2 equals... Now remember, when you take anything opposite of where it's at in a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. So this becomes 5 to the negative 2. Well, the equality of exponents says if you can rewrite both uh, sides as a number, same number to a power, then you cross those numbers out. Since I wrote both sides as 5 to a power, I can cross those 5s out. And we'll set the exponents equal to each other. So we've got 5x minus 2 is equal to negative 2. Now this is a linear equation. Uh, first step, get rid of parentheses, don't have any. Second step, get rid of fractions, don't have any. Third step, get everything with an x on one side and numbers on the other. So I'll take negative 2 over the right side. Now remember when you take anything across your equals, your sign changes, so it becomes a positive 2. Combine together numbers in a step. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And last step, divide both sides by the number in front of your x, which is 5. And we're going to get x equals 0 divided by 5 is 0. So x equals 0 is our answer.